it's free for the month but now free for two weeks so we've got the diesel punk kit bash 3d environment we've got the dwarven city module environment and the led light generator i'll give you my opinions on them you give me yours punk first so the diesel punk environment this is a huge like gigabyte of size environment a couple of frustrations with this one is you don't get a overview map to look at it but i've managed to sort that out so you can see it properly this came out in november 20 2023 and says that it's not generated with ai which is cool kit bash assets are heavily textured so this is all 4k textures doesn't use nano and doesn't have any lod's so i don't think these are game ready assets but let me know what you think dwarven city modular like this one this one's really cool this one came out in march 29 2023 isn't generated with ai and is available from 4.26 to 5.6 and this is a dwarven environment this bit's a bit funky 50 packs on our free accounts i don't get why you'd need free accounts why not just have one account but maybe someone could tell me why someone would benefit from free having free accounts do i need free accounts this is a dwarven environment looks like lord of the rings return to Moria. um i like it it looks cool LED light generator. This one's an interesting asset. You do need another plugin to make this work. This requires the substance plugin. That substance plugin is Adobe Substance and it is free, but you do need that plugin to make this work. And I'll show you how to use this because I don't think the documentation on this is very good. So I'll show you exactly how to make your own signs to this. This is gener not generative AI and came out March 12th, 2024. So those are your free assets. I'll take you through them and let me know what you think. So we're in the dwarf asset pack. I think a fair word of warning. This is a massive uh, asset. You start off inside of this castle, but I've just come outside and I've got it on eight times camera speed. And this is huge. Like as a sample level, this is massive. I, there's a couple of bits that are empty or whatever, but yeah, as a sample level, this is rather large. Don't want to fold out there. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty impressive. Should probably just drop this in as an actual level. Put some NPCs in here. We've done a little bit of that already. We'll put some NPCs so you can show you kind of what it'd look like if it was a little bit more alive. So this is from the dwarf pack that's on Humble Bundle currently with its characters. Got these dwarves and then the king. So you can sort of see how that would look with the characters in here as well. Subway surfing. So lots of options. Let's take a look at the actual uh, assets that you get for it as well. So here are the assets that you get. I'm always a bit surprised when I see a huge level and it's not made up of uh, many assets. So I'm always a bit like shocked. But I'm not a level designer, so maybe that's just normal. But lots of different assets. There's some really small ones here, and then you've got these massive uh, columns and statues and uh, dragon heads and thrones and all sorts knocking around as well. Some signs for what's around. Not sure about that. But from further away, it looks fine. So let me know what you think about this one. Next up, LED generator. Let's take a look at these and see if we can make our own LEDs. So this gives you a rundown of different types of LEDs, different illuminations, moving ones. how that works and all sorts okay let's try and make our own i'm going to grab hold of this one and just duplicate it let's see how easy it is to make one ourselves because that's what big code assets are about right so this requires the substance plugin so straight away the i can see a problem with this is that Substance 3D is 5.4 to 5.6, and I don't know a way of getting older plugin versions. 
but this LED light generator is available for 5.3. So if you get it on 5.3, you can't use it because you don't have the substance plugin. That feels like an oversight. Right, so now our plugin's installed. We'll go to edit, we'll go to plugins, substance in UE5, turn it on and restart. Right, so now we have our substance plugin installed. So we'll see in this folder called substances, this LED generator is here. Now, let me show you quickly the documentation. This is the LED generator. This is all the documentation that you get. There's not much to it here, and I've had to figure this out myself. So that is a bit frustrating. So what you do is we right click, create a graph instance, new instance of LED generator, creates all of this. This LED generator instance is your uh, code that changes all of these, and these are your textures that you will add in a second. Open up LED generator instance. I'm going to change this to be a word, and then I'm going to change this to be an octagon. So now when we click save, it will change all of these here to be a word, whether it's a missive color. Okay, so now if I open up one of the material instances, so MILED07, just got to duplicate that to do MILED13. What we can do is we can get our ambient occlusion from our substance. And put it in here. We get our base color and put it in here. Our emissive and stick it in there. Metallic also the same. Normal the same. We don't have an opacity. Oh, I, I don't know why I've not got an opacity. And our roughness the same here. MILED13, we've got the word badly written. Here, like that. Now, none of this was in the documentation and I will, I had to find all this out myself. So I find that a little bit frustrating. Let's change that to actually be one word. There you go, one word like so. So yeah, a little bit frustrating and disappointing. The documentation should be uh, a lot clearer on how to actually make this work. So I hope that that was clear for you and I hope you cleared up some stuff as well. So diesel punk. Now this file is 11 gigabytes and anytime I see a kit bash asset, my computer is crying mainly because they are so heavily uh, detailed i don't think that you can use them for uh, games very well just because of the textures and how much they are but these assets are don't come with a normal level they're all blueprint assets they're all sort of pack level actors that you drag out but it does mean that you can uh, chop and change the assets that are available. To get all of these geometries, which is what they call static meshes, that you can then add and change. Would have liked to have seen some sort of uh, display level. So here we are in the big level that has all of the assets in. All of the pack level actors, which is about 300 pack level actors. So you can see them all. We're just going to have a quick run through so you can sort of see the level of detail and the quality of these assets. You can even see it's still rendering. But these, most of them are absolutely huge. Just like looking in the background, you've got factories and houses and all sorts. This one looks like it's still rendering and coming in, but. Yeah, these assets are mahusive. Like so, it's that pipe I can get into. It's cool. Yeah, you can just see how my machine is not happy having all of these things being imported, but we did it 
and now it's in its own level and I've scat them out. I didn't do this mind you, I just ran some Python code that did it. So very detailed asset. As I keep saying, I don't think it's for uh, game dev, but it would look great in like cinematics and uh, all that sort of way of using it really. There we go. This one's fully loaded now. So very nice. So that's all three of our free assets. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching.